Similar to women's experiences, MCI anticipates that men's interests and needs with respect to contraceptive preferences will evolve over the course of their lives. Lived experiences will influence choice. For example, a man aged 55 who already has children will have drastically different needs than an 18-year-old just starting their reproductive journey. As such, we have endeavored to articulate the various stages of a man's reproductive experience in order to better speculate the different personas that represent future users of male contraceptives, as well as the beneficiaries and intermediaries present in each phase. Learning. The initial stage, this is when a young man begins thinking about sex and establishes the foundation of their understanding of sexuality and relationship dynamics. Exploring. The next stage involves a man getting to know their sexuality and experimenting with sex irrespective of relationship status and without a focus on conceiving a child. Deciding. The third phase finds a man at the juncture in life where he is considering life events like getting married and having children, or not. Concluding. The final stage. This is when a man has ultimately completed their reproductive journey, whether that includes father and children or not. Developing a clear understanding of the various phases of a man's reproductive journey will help us identify needs as they evolve and design contraceptives to meet those needs every step of the way. For more information, please visit malecontraceptive.org.